going to be left behind in terms of you know taking part in different sectors uh, i took time to go through the nadco report and i've been working alongside uh, diana and other lawyers and uh, the reason why what happened the way you saw many politicians celebrating the nadco report it is because they have already stolen the future elections when we are here fighting for how things should be done, they have already stolen the future election, and this is how they have been able to do it. When we go through the NADCO report, uh, there are a few things that you are going to notice. One thing is they have given Azimio two slots, uh, they have given um, Kenya Kwanza two slots, they have given the church uh, a slot, the Muslims a slot, uh, LSK a slot, and uh, and also they have given the accountants, um, you know, certified accountants. Uh, uh, slots. So there are like nine slots for the IBC selection panel. And the importance of this is that this IBC selection panel, it is the one that will choose the 70 commissioners. And the thing that I want us to know, uh, I want everyone to know is we're not going to be left behind in terms of being on the table. That is one thing. And that is where they've been beating us. So I sat down and I said, I'll not just be left behind. I'm going to go through the 520 pages of the NADCO report to make sure that I understand this report and also collaborate with other people. This is the first petition that will be presented to the parliament that I am part of. I don't care whether I'm a villager from Sekuru for those who know me. I'm a villager from Sekuru and I've been mobilizing for Nane Nane from Sekuru. So I don't care about that aspect. Right now, I've, I've realized that we are not going to take a, a back seat and say, oh, what a tupangia. No, we are going to be part of those conversations. We are going to be on those tables whereby even when things go wrong, we clearly know that there is person for us. There are people who are telling me, Mkenya Daima, whatever LSK, the church, and the rest of the people decide to choose a youth. No, these are things that we demand. Youths and people living with disabilities have always had a representation in every aspect of our country. Where is it that when we come to the critical issues uh, of IBC selection panel that is responsible for how we select our, our leaders and everything, that the Kenyan youths have been left out? No. Next week, we are hopefully that we are going to have a petition that will ensure that we get three slots as youth, uh, uh, two slots, one female and male, and also people living with dis disabilities. So we, we are looking for um, for a petition that is going to uh, to amend the law from nine, nine slots to 12 slots whereby we get a position and we want it to be we want it to be on the books we want it to be on pen and paper that we use we have a position on on ibc selection panel the, there is no way you are going to tell me we are 70 percent of the people and we are not part of the conversation so that is an issue that i wanted to highlight and when you see me while i'm pushing for nani nani i'm still pushing for the restructuring of ibc and also behind the scene uh um you know i'm also following what needs to be done and also collaborating with the rest of the guys, uh, with the lawyers, to make sure that we have a petition that is going to amend the uh, IEBC law that makes sure that we have 12 slots and we have been considered. Atutaki kwe ni kama favor. That is, we have already moved from that. We are going to determine how we are, we are ruled in this country. We are 70% of the people because remember we are projected to be around 57 million and we constitute around 14 uh, 14 million voters. So we are not going to let on any, any, uh, uh, people make decisions for us because when you look at that, uh, Azimio and Kenya Kwanza, they are together. The church, it's no doubt, they are in bed with the government. So six or seven slots uh, out of the nine already those people are in bed together so we don't want them to steal future election because that is what they have done that's why you saw all of them signing the nadco report and they were very happy so that is something that i've been enlightening and you guys you need to understand i, I want you guys to see the impact that has uh, when we are furthering the agenda of making sure that we define the kenya we live in eric uh, cyprian and edgar thank you for the opportunity that is the issue i've been enlightening and behind the scene i'm pushing for the petition i think this is the first petition me as a villager i'll be part of as a guy from company in Sekuru and imagine you when you see it just support it thank you because I'm pushing for us to make sure that we are part of the conversation thank you all right uh thank you very much can you hear me Edgar you know I have to confirm because my network is bad Cyprian can you hear me Eric, Eric, I yes. think Edgar can't hear you because he just uh, he just communicated with him PM that he's not able to hear me on on the space. Okay, thank you very much. So um, I I see Billy Billy Mijungu.
Ben Sirkal. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much, uh, Eric and Cyprian and Edgar, for giving me this chance. Uh, I will go very fast. And uh, I have taken my time uh, every every evening after work. I go to Jivanji Gardens. I go to a town at the, at the, the CBD trying to enlighten our people and trying to get the feedbacks of uh, what they're seeing and what should be done. And I've come to realize that uh, it is true that uh, we have a problem in Kenya. People can see the problem. But the challenge is that uh, uh, so many people do not understand the causes of this problem. We are only trying to, 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 to deal with the symptoms. I think the problem is very, very deep because uh, the executive wing of government is not working. The legislature is not working. The judiciary is not working. There is nothing that is working in this country. Even the families, the social fabric of a society is torn totally. And I have not analyzed this problem because if you want to analyze a problem, then you, you first understand the problem, you, you try to get the evidences, and then come up with recommendations. And if you talk to so many people in the streets, they're saying that the recommendation we have is protests. And you see, if you look at uh, protest, that's a political solution for a political problem. So we forgot, we, we've uh, decided to have a political solution, but the problem that we're having as ourselves is that we are not ready to get organized. Because in my point, in my opinion, uh, the political class have organized themselves. The minority of them have now organized themselves. And they've divided that us into groups they're they're they they category categorizing us into uh, the rural areas and the urban areas so they've realized that this protest is going to be strong in the urban areas and now they're going to campaign and give goodies and lie to the people in the rural areas so i think as we move forward you need to understand that uh, the, the politicians have gathered and it is important however much we are trying to avoid this problem it is important that we understand that for us to have a political solution, we have to get organized. I know we don't trust each other. There's the problem we're having. There's a lot of mistrust. But we need to risk to trust some of us. And I think on way forward, the only way we can have a genuine solution, because we realize that we have the solutions and we are trying to tell these people who are in power to come up with solutions, but the content of their character cannot allow them. So I think it is important to identify a few of us so that when the IBC is formed, we need to take over the legislative wing of this government. We need to take over parliament by making sure that the 200 members of parliament who are already weak are replaced so that if we have 200 members of parliament, then we can change so much in this country. We can change so much. So, because the protests, this have the, they have the monopoly of violence. They have the monopoly of uh, illegal and legal violence. Right now, okay. planet, yeah? Can I come yeah, back? Wind up. Yeah, so my point is, eh, I think we need to spread these protests. Let's organize protests in the 47 counties, in the, in the 290 constituencies, in the 1,450 wards. As we prepare for an election, the moment the IBC is out, we need to kick out the 200 members of parliament so that we can take over the legislative wing of this government. If we do that, then we can change so much. And people, even the public, can see that we really have an end to the protests that we are trying to organize. Thank you so much for the opportunity. And you can go to my, my, I, my, my channel is in the TikTok, Ben Sirikala. I'm trying to do a lot of uh, uh, civic education in the streets, in the churches, everywhere. I'm trying to make everybody to join us, understand that we have a problem and all of us must be part of this solution. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Godfrey? Godfrey? 